going on guys welcome back to learn crypto my name is nick hellman aka the crypto hitman make sure to like share and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube make sure to like retweet and leave a comment if you're watching it on twitter or should i say x this is the oatmeal update you're seeing me pre-shave pre-shower and only halfway through my cup of joe now in theory i think solana sol should outperform Ethereum in the next cycle just based on market capitalization, token distribution, and the real wall shot Solana had with all the FTX debacle. As you know, FTX, Sam Brinkman Freed, and all those VCs who went under were major holders of Solana and probably had to liquidate all their SOL in order to try to pay lawyer fees and pay back customers. Also, don't forget that Solana launched the cell phone. This has the Solana network embedded into it, and I think in the, over the long term that will be very bullish for the use case of SOL. But also realize ETH comes with much less risk and still drives the most, most users, the most trading volume, and the most institutional exposure. Now, when I'm talking about institutional exposure, there's this thing called the EDX exchange that is supposed to be launching with Fidelity and Charles Schwab, and it'll only have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. That means all the money that comes in only has four choices, and I think Ethereum will be high up there as it kind of stands alone and differentiates itself from the other three. When I talk about liquidity and volume, you can see the most LP, the most liquidity for all these projects is tied to Ethereum over Solana. Also, the most volume is occurring on Ethereum's network versus Solana network, BSC, or any others. Many projects, even projects on Solana, during this bear market have been looking for liquidity. So they're going multi-chain to Ethereum or swapping to Ethereum altogether. I think this trend continues until the Ethereum gas fees become exorbitant. And then when that happens, they'll rotate back to Solana, BSC, and others. I think ETH is the safer place now with the Bitcoin to ETF approval coming. It will happen. Will it happen on September 2nd? I don't know. But coming soon, it will. The EDX exchange launching, which we already talked about, and the start of the market turnaround. You know, we're in the market cycle now. We're the next Bitcoin bottom. Then we start talking about the halving countdown. Uh, historical trends and where we are in this bear cycle I think it has turned bullish I think the low has already been put in for 15,000 and I think now is the time to get exposure to Bitcoin a Ethereum and some of these other large caps that have been here uh, you know having after having and I don't think Solana's quite into that basket just yet then the plan would be to switch the allocation and go heavier into Solana and lighter into Ethereum after Bitcoin has already had its little bit of a move, Ethereum's going to follow. You know, Ethereum still has the volume and liquidity and users. Once Ethereum gas prices go up and alt season comes, that's when you should rotate and get rid of a majority of your Ethereum to swap to Solana, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Solana is going to outperform Ethereum in the next cycle? Do you think Ethereum still has another quarter or two of outperformance for Solana? Or... Is there a totally different layer one, layer two, or even layer zero scaling solution out there that we should hold instead of ETH or Solana? Is that BNB? Is that Matic? Is that ADA? Let me know your thoughts. That is the oatmeal update from Nick Hellman.